Hey guys, Silence the Owl here. Welcome back to another Utame Cross Gacha video with me. And this month, we are in a bit of a, well, bundle of trouble. Because <laughs> Dana decided to throw back once again two seven star episode flicks within the month itself. I mean, we started off. You know, with the seven star plate introduction with two episode plates at one go. So I hope this doesn't become too often of a thing because it is definitely very painful on the wallet. And considering that I am still one well one episode plate, you know, missing from my collection to have the full set of seven stars or rather six stars. Because, well, I've only got Freya's involved with 7 star form. Now, with Cheryl and Mikumo's coming, uh, I don't know. Please don't let it be 3 missing plates from my collection. It is not very, uh, I would say, a good thing for my wallet. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, the banner is there. Yes, whenever a new month comes around and the 7 star gacha is there, of course Dana is out to try and get your real life money by introducing the discounted stone packs. So if you guys can afford to do so, um, the discounted packs are definitely the way to go rather than you buy you know, the singing stone packs when they are not discounted at all, they are way more expensive. So there is still a cheaper way, a smarter way to play this game. Uh, if you are able to finance it though, you know, that is if you can purchase your your singing stones through your, I don't know, Google Play accounts, uh, Apple iTunes store, um, wherever you are from. I do know there are some region issues when it comes to purchasing digital currency, uh, especially when your debit cards, credit cards are not allowed to do so. So you have to go through certain other means like maybe purchasing gift cards and all that kind of stuff. So figure out what's the best way for you to purchase the singing stone packs. You know, of course, at a cheaper rate than you can possibly get. But if you can't, please don't feel forced to do so. Uh, it is just a marketing ploy in general still just to go after the fans. You know, if you guys want to play free to play, it is definitely a way to do it. Um, just play smart, save your singing stones for the diva that you really want to focus on, which is probably your waifu, whoever it may be, or husband though. You know, if you are, you know, sighing basara <laughs> true and true. Alright, so um, as usual, the seven star plates definitely will be in the 4000 range of total score. And well balanced stats all around. But of course, the other important thing is who else can use the episode plates aside from the main diva feature on image itself. And you know, getting the 7 star or the 6 star versions of this episode plate is the key to the events throughout the whole month. Now that we have two versions of 7 stars coming out this month, it is actually very important to actually attain one of them at least. Because if you have one of them, and someone else within your friend list has the other, you will get that full benefit of bonus plus uh, to your score in the end of every play. So if you have Sheros, you will have equipped Sheros episode plate to your diva team. You will get that certain amount of percentage out from the episode plate itself. You know, and then of course, if your other friend has Mikumo's seven star plate. Uh, be it 6 star or 7 star, you know, there are some whalers out there who definitely go hardcore to fully evolve all of their plates to 7 star form and of course you get to enjoy the benefits of their whaling. <laughs> so play smart, um, that's why I say the minimum you just need is get at least one of the episode plates um, in the 6 star form even though they are not 7 stars which will help you cap out their bonus percentage. But at least you get that boost in percent and it will help you keep up with the race of ranking especially during this time of period where the ticketing event is actually one of the most harshest when it comes to these um, essential bonus points that you get for each play. So if, can you imagine if you are going up against those whalers who have both 
episode plates at 7 star, you know, boosting their bonus points to over 110%, that kind of stuff. So, you know, it is just harmful for new players um, when it comes to getting all these 7 star exclusive episode plates that are very, very low percentage of attaining. So, that's why I say it is a must, a minimum must to at least have one of these seven star plates in their six star form within your collection for this month's um, events because you know you're gonna have to face all the other players who might have both copies of the seven stars so yeah all right so let's break down the episode plate once again as usual um, seven star plates will have two different center skills you know if you play the episode plates series song because Cheryl is from Macross Frontier so if you play a Frontier song you will gain that double S center skill of course if you play a series aside from Frontier yeah you get the regular center skill effect so 30% then of course boosted by boosted to 50 if you play a Frontier song then of course as usual if it is fully evolved to its 7 star form you get to cast the active skill twice so it's a 15 seconds duration 100% boost in score which is always awesome you know no matter what series you are playing on <laughs> because that double cast of skill is very important for high score achievement live skill however it is a uh, well high score boosting effect but you know 20% might as well not have it there so let's move on so as usual, 7 stars do not come with a special note attached to them yet. I don't know, because this is actually Cheryl's second 7 star episode plate. So it's it's still a, a surprise that Dana has decided not to roll out a 7 star plate with special notes attached to them, which is a good thing as well. Because if it does happen, I, I definitely know my money will be tossed into it like water out into the river uh, whatever the metaphor is you know <laughs> money flows in as quickly as water and you know money flows out as quickly as water so you know so yeah if Dana decides to come out with a 7 star plate with a special note attached to it no matter which diva it belongs to I think it's time to start preparing saving for your waifu or husband those episode plate once it gets that treatment to its 7 star episode plate you know unless you are a hardcore player it doesn't matter who the diva is you just go for the episode plate because it's brand new because you want to beat everyone out there with the benefits of the episode plate so okay I have um, 650 stones right now I'm gonna go purchase some more singing stones and of course well I have to balance my singing stone usage because Cheryl is here for now Mikumo is coming around the corner I definitely want to have some singing stones prepared for Mikumo as well so I'll be back in just a moment right after purchasing the stones alright so after purchasing the stones I have about 3500 singing stones on hand I probably might balance out you know, maybe a thousand five stones each for um, every single seven star gacha that's coming up. So let's do this. Um, we're gonna go with a discounted 300 stone pool, then probably two more 500 cost template pools, and that's it. We're gonna have to save the rest of the stones for the next gacha because we have to play smart. Oh, and if you guys actually subscribe to the special pass, you probably might have gotten your tickets that allow you to do single pulls so I'm gonna do single pulls first um, just just to flush out the bad luck <laughs> as usual because we we, made, we totally missed out on Makina's six star plate um, last month so hopefully the luck refreshes this time round for this month so bear with me I might just speed through the video here
So I got kind of lucky <laughs> with that single pull. I did pull out a 5 star episode plate. But hopefully that doesn't totally erase the good luck. So we're gonna go for the actual thing right now. We're gonna pull the discounted pack. I mean discounted pool. And hopefully oh, we do get some loading there. Uh, hopefully it doesn't have to go further beyond this. Oh. Okay, we get a very decent animation with Valkyrie. Oh, we do get a rainbow box. Hopefully that evolves to the 6 star form of the 7 star plate. Okay. Oh god. I'm a bit nervous. Considering that Clan Clan gave me that very interesting glare. Alright, where are you Rainbow Box? Leaving the best for the last day. So none of the red boxes evolved at all. Oh, I don't think I have this at all. Here we go. No evolution. Oh, we do get an exclusive artwork image. So that's not too bad. Oh, I do have it. Now it's fully evolved. Nice. Okay, so let's move on to the more expensive portion. Hopefully I do get, well, either one, either Mikumo or Sheros. Just hoping very hard. <laughs> Alright, a quick load. And a surprise load. Here we go. Oh no. Oh! What? We get a rainbow box off the bat! Okay, the red box is a down. I should have said now, right? I don't know why I was thinking down. <laughs> oh well. Words fumble out of my brain. Here we go. Oh! Please don't let it be Freya. If it's Makina, I'm fine. Oh, it's Cheryl! Ah! <laughs> okay, I am done for this gacha. Oh god. You know, it would be amazing if I actually pull up uh, Mikumos later on as well. Oh, I get to unlock the costume. And you guys will get to see the animation for it! Okay! <laughs> Let's do this! Let's go unlock the costume right now! Oh, we get an evolution of the plate as well! That's pretty nice! Ooh! So many plates leveling up! Okay! There we go! There we go! The only notification you can see if you actually attain a 6 star episode plate of the 7 star plates. I mean, there are episode plates that just come with costume points for the costumes that are attached to the 7 stars itself. Ever since they released the reissuing of the 7 star gachas, those plates have been around uh, only if you pull those resurfaced or reissued gachas. But you know, it's still pretty hard to unlock the full costume. Unless you at least attain one of those plates and then unlock it through episode ops, which is just painful. <laughs> Alright, so, wow, okay, I've got myself both copies of Cheryl's episode plates already, so um, I have yet to evolve any of them to its 7 star form though, so let's just unlock Cheryl's costume right now. Oh, I'm just, my heart is still beating very fast, I didn't expect this at all. Uh, so I guess... You know, having bad luck on Makina, um, eventually rolled around and um, we finally managed to get Cheryl's episode plate. I do kind of want Mikumo's because, you know, it's Mikumo. Well, I'm not a, I'm not a Mikumo fan. I, I'm more of a fan for Juna, so... <laughs> there we go, so the fully voiced episode story. 
that comes with the plate. All the resources that you can unlock while unlocking the costume. At least I got 10 stones back. You know, I kind of spent 800 stones. So, you know, a little discount. And of course, the adorable doll that is added for your decor room that you can stuff into that very tiny room in your screen. And there we go. Okay, so that's it for today. <laughs> I, I just noticed that the stocking on the right leg has the Macross crossover works on it. Oh, that's pretty interesting. We don't really get to see all these details, um, especially when they first released the illustration um, for the event itself, Macross Crossover Live 2019. You know, because Cheryl was in a crouching position, so we've never actually seen the bottom design as well. You know, this full um, lingerie style costume. We've only seen the top, we know how sexy it is already, but we've never seen the bikini bottom style, I don't know, the underwear garment portion. So yeah, and you know, looking at the details of the costume, I've never noticed this as well. What is this accessory down here? <laughs> Alright, so anyways, that's pretty much it for me. I'm gonna save the rest of my stones for Mikumo's gacha when it comes around. Hopefully I don't have to end up using all the remaining stones just to try and attain her plate. But it'll be pretty awesome if I can actually attain both of them. Not at least it gives me that um, percentage bonus. But if you have friends that have the fully evolved 7 star plates, um, rather than using your own 6 star episode plate, you know, um, just use the ass, maximize the extra percentage of bonus, and push yourself further in the ranks. So anyway guys, thank you guys for joining me all the way through this video. If you guys did, you guys are awesome as always. You know, it already helps us a lot um, as YouTubers if you guys watch through the entire video rather than just skip through portions here and there, you know, just to see the gacha and not listen to me blab about why I think the episode plate is a must-have. <laughs> so yes guys, thank you guys as always. As always, if you guys enjoyed the surprise reactions of my gacha pools, Leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel for more interesting streams of me pulling gachas in the future, and I'll see you guys in the next episode really soon. I think another 2 or 3 days time, because that's probably how long it takes for Mikomo's gacha to come around. Until then, bye!